UK offshore wind capacity accounted for 24% of global capacity, second only to China. In recent years, the United Kingdom has emerged as a global leader in offshore wind energy generation, making significant strides toward achieving its renewable energy and sustainability goals. With a remarkable surge in offshore wind capacity, the UK has become a front-runner in harnessing the power of the wind to meet its energy needs. This video explores the key factors behind Britain's success in offshore wind energy, examining statistics, geographical advantages, government policies, and the commitment to achieving net zero emissions. If you are wondering how many offshore wind farms there are in the United Kingdom, I will answer this question later in the video. One of the primary reasons behind Britain's success in offshore wind energy lies in its geographical advantages. The UK's coastal areas experience high and consistent wind speeds, creating an ideal environment for the development of offshore wind farms. Additionally, the favourable seabed conditions in the surrounding waters make it easier and more cost-effective to install and maintain offshore wind infrastructure. Early investment and development played a crucial role as well. From the first experimental wind farms in the early 2000s, the UK government has consistently pumped in significant funding and implemented supportive policies. The contracts for different scheme, for example, guarantees a fixed price for electricity generated by renewable sources, providing developers with the confidence to invest in large-scale wind projects. UK has been a pioneer in offshore wind technology, continually advancing turbine design. Innovations include the development of larger turbines with extended blades, enabling the capture of more wind energy and increased electricity generation. The country is also actively exploring floating wind farms, allowing access to deeper waters with stronger winds. High Wind Scotland, located off the coast of Peterhead, Scotland, is the world's first floating offshore wind farm and the world's best performing offshore wind farm, achieving a capacity factor of 54% over its first five years of operations. The UK has established a robust offshore wind supply chain encompassing specialized vessels, installation companies, and component manufacturers. This well-developed ecosystem leads to reduced project costs and timelines. Additionally, strategically located ports equipped for the logistical demands of offshore wind contribute to efficient turbine transportation and installation. The regulatory framework surrounding offshore wind has also been conducive to growth. Streamlined permitting processes and clear environmental regulations have ensured projects move forward efficiently while minimizing environmental impact. This combination of government backing and responsible regulation has fostered a thriving domestic industry, boasting global leaders like Orsted and Orsted, who develop and operate massive offshore wind farms like Hornsey 1 and Hornsey 2, the world's largest operational offshore wind farm. A regulatory regime that encourages innovation and investment has been instrumental in the UK's offshore wind success. The streamlined permitting process, coupled with a supportive regulatory framework, has attracted both domestic and international investors. This approach has positioned the UK as an attractive destination for offshore wind projects, fostering a competitive market that drives technological advancements and cost reductions. The driving force behind this technological and infrastructural marvel, however, lies in the pursuit of a cleaner future. Britain has set ambitious targets for reducing greenhouse gas emissions and achieving net zero by 2050. Offshore wind, as a readily available and sustainable source of renewable energy, plays a critical role in this green energy revolution. By displacing fossil fuel-based power generation, offshore wind helps cut carbon emissions and combat climate change.
The UK currently has 13.9 gigawatts of offshore wind fully commissioned, a fourfold increase in capacity installed in 2012. There are 44 offshore wind farm projects currently operating. There is also a total project pipeline of around 77 gigawatts across 80 projects that are either in construction, consented, in development, or planned in future seabed leasing auctions. UK offshore wind farms produce about 45 terawatt hour of electricity annually. This figure is enough to provide electricity for 41% of UK homes. Offshore wind farms in the UK generate about 14% of UK electricity. The UK is the second largest offshore wind market in the world. The British Energy Security Strategy, published in April 2022, set the ambition to achieve up to 50 gigawatts of offshore wind by 2030, including 5 gigawatts from innovative floating technology. This ambition could support up to 90,000 direct and indirect jobs in the UK and is part of a wider £100 billion private investment required to meet the UK's net zero goal. The UK's wind power prowess is undeniable, especially when it comes to offshore giants. In the North Sea, Hornsey II reigns supreme. It's won 65 turbines, harnessing the wind to power over 1.3 million homes. Soon, however, Dogger Bank, a leviathan under construction, will eclipse it with a capacity of 5.5 gigawatts, enough for over 6 million homes. Across the Irish Sea, the Beatrice and Beatrice Extension wind farms stand proudly. Veterans joined by the newer Gwynt Y Moor, together illuminating over 850,000 homes. These impressive feats of engineering illustrate the UK's commitment to green energy, and with Dogger Bank's looming arrival, the nation's wind power crown will only shine brighter. The UK continues to drive investment and innovation in its thriving offshore wind sector through its world-leading ambition and deployment of new technologies. His Royal Highness, the Prince Charles, Duke of Rothsey, officially opened Scotland's biggest and the world's fourth largest offshore wind farm. <laughs> Capable of powering 450,000 homes, Beatrice Offshore Wind Farm sits 13 kilometres off the Caithness coast in the North Sea. At a cost of £2.5 billion, Beatrice is the largest single private investment ever made in Scotland, supporting 1,500 jobs at peak construction. Prince Charles unveiled a commemorative Caithness stone plaque at the newly restored Thomas Telford Operation and Maintenance Base in Wick. The 200-year-old buildings were saved from ruin, with a £20 million renovation bringing the rundown harbour area back to life. <laughs>